little bit about your operation. Well, we start fishing down here in the springtime for tog, and then we go to stripers and with clams, and then we go to uh, this drum fishing, which, as you can see, isn't too bad. Then from here, we'll shark fish, and then we start offshore tuna fishing. We run two boats. Captain Bob has a, the uh, pull ahead, and of course this one, the Free Spirit. So if the fish are down to the south, we can come out of Cape May and catch fish with you know on his boat. And if they're out of the north, we take mine. So it saves a lot of time for people. And then uh, of course we come back here after the tuna and do overnight trips, of course, too, if the tuna fish are there. And uh, they weren't last year, but they will be this year. And then uh, we striper fish in the fall. So start in April, end in December. So okay. there you have it. And um, how long have you been fishing in these waters? I started fishing here in 1963. Heck, you weren't born then, were you? <laughs> 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 yeah, I started chartering in 1978. So. And. Um what species of game fish are most popular in Cape May? I guess we just went over those. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, stripers and drum and mm -hmm. tuna and marlin. I mean, we have we have it all. You know, I mean, we've mm -hmm. caught we have just about everything. I, we've we mean at night we even catch swordfish. You know, but it's 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 right good fishing out of here. And uh, where I sail out of for the offshore up in uh, out of Ocean City, New Jersey, and uh, I've got five canyons that we can fish within 75 miles of the of the beach. So. But last year, Victor will tell you, the farthest we went for these big bluefin was about 52 miles, so good fishing. And um, we're going after drums today? Oh, yeah, you know, huh? Absolutely. Skates, too. Skates. Yeah, we, we catch a few skates and some sharks, <laughs> just to keep the, the interest up. But, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, whereabouts are we fishing for them? Like how many miles offshore do we go? Well, actually, we're in the bay. We're about six miles from it. We're sitting right six in Delaware miles. Bay. Delaware Bay is 17 mm -hmm. miles wide. We're about a third of the way across it here on a, in a place called Tussie's Slough. Mm -hmm. And um, why are these fish here? Well, they breed this time of year. Could you explain to us what kind of gear we'll be using? Just well, we have um, on the boat, I have Finnor. Uh, Offshore uh, conventional and spinning reels on Finnora uh, seven foot rods. They're uh, they're like uh, 25 to 40 pound rods, and we're fishing with braid. I happen to use high seas braid, the uh, the Grand Slam braid, 65 pound. Uh, but just about anything that you would like tog fish or or something you'd you'd uh, use for live lining bunker, that kind of a rod. You want a little light tip on it so that it doesn't get you know when the boat moves it doesn't pull a clam off the bottom. We're fishing with whole clams and. Uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, we can put that back in here now. I mean, I'm not sure that may be a big shark. Yeah. No. They get this is this one's only going to be what about is 30 the limit pounds. Here? Uh, limit. It's three a man, but you don't want to keep straight. No. Told you they were drunk. Listen, listen, listen. Susie called him. Called this one. Wow, good. Can you hold that up a little higher. There you go. All right. <laughs> Say cheese. Yeah, baby. Say cheese. How about that? Take a couple I pictures. The first fish on the boat. Got a whole bunch. Let's catch another one. All right. All right. Okay. Can we put him away now?